So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this amazing lab so first of all click on start lab and open the console incognito window. Now many of you are facing some kind of issues like you are getting error where the cluster is creating for a long time then you have to just restart the lab and try again because the lab has been fixed then you have to just start it. Now just open the console you can try in other regions also. So basically you cannot manipulate the region but you have to just restart the lab again and it will surely work. Uh, just see the region which i have done i will show you do not worry about it now just click on i understand and then you have to just activate the cloud shell now here you have to just click on i agree and click on agree and continue and then you have to just activate the cloud shell like this just click on it click on continue and then authorize yourself just click on the continue option and authorize yourself Now just let me increase the log size, sorry font size. Now here, first we'll set the region. Okay, you can see here this is the region Europe West 4. So if you are getting error in any other region, just try to start the lab again. And you will be able to see this region, then only complete the lab. Now if you make any mistake, just use the backspace. Now just disable the data proc API. Once the API is disabled, you have to wait for some time and then re-enable it. So just wait for some time and then re-enable it. I will recommend wait for some more time and then enable it because it takes time to the API to get enabled again. Just come over here and just you have disabled the API and now it's time to enable it. Once it is enabled you need to wait for some time and then we'll share the project and project number. Just set the project. After that we'll add the permissions basically the roles of storage admin and data prop worker role. And if you get any error over here, just rerun the command again. Now we have to enable private GCP access. So finally, so finally it is also enabled. Now come over here and we have to create the cluster. Okay. Now this cluster creation may take 5 to 10 minutes. So you need to wait for it. And if you get any kind of error. Basically if it asks to confirm just type Y and hit enter. Now here if you try to check the score you will get the score for this task. But many of you are facing issues on the last task. Do not worry everything is covered. I repeat if you get any kind of cluster creation or resource exhausted error. Then you have to just restart the app, uh, lab and retry again in the same region. Now I will show you how the cluster will look like. So basically on the search box you have to just type data proc and just search for the cluster. So here only on the search box you have to type data proc. Sorry you can just type cluster. And here you have to click on data proc cluster only. Now here you can see the cluster is being provisioned. And once it is completed, it will show a green check mark. Okay, that is success. Then you will run the next command. I repeat, if you get any kind of error, just restart the lab. And do like the video and subscribe the channel. Also, if you want to see other pre-assessment labs and skill badges, you can check the description box. I have shared the master sheet along with the, all the skill badge sheet too. Also, do join our telegram channel and follow us on Instagram.
so now here you can see that the cluster has been created and it's running state now we have to just submit the job so just check the score for task number one and for submitting the job just copy this paste on the cloud shell and hit enter and just wait for the job to get completed how you can view the job just come over here and next to the cluster click on the jobs here the job will be shown over here so now wait for it to get completed and once it's done we'll move forward to the lab instruction and check the score here you can see the cluster job is being created and it's running once it is completed it will show succeeded so just wait for it to get completed here you can see it is in submit state wait for it to get submitted and jump sorry done state So finally here you can see it is now successfully succeeded. Now just let's move to the lab instruction and check the score. And that's how we completed the lab. If you face any issue, you can let me know in the comment section. Do like the video and subscribe the channel. I repeat, if you are completely new to this channel, do like the video and subscribe the channel.